Hi, and welcome to RedTrack. Today we'll see how to uh, set up S-Test Postback for RedTrack if you run digital vendor card. So working not as an affiliate, but as a vendor. So we'll use RedTrack uh, e-com account for this, but the approach will be the same for if the advertiser, let's mention e-com or affiliate accounts, uh, because we'll use not a template, we'll use to create digital from scratch, and we'll go through all the steps one by one. So in this video, we'll focus only to create Digistore integration and not how to add the product links, how to promote them, etc. Let's uh, jump into the account. So we can see we have our sandbox for advertising is growing. So we will add Digistore 24 from scratch. And uh, yeah, we we'll name it just okay. So okay, just on twenty four. And uh, I will copy. I just don't, I just do remember that click it is CAD there. So let's see it, but that's it. We'll start building up parameters as we talk. So we uh, now can proceed into Digistore. Of course, before that, we have added custom tracking domain. We have added conversion events. And let's jump into Digistore. You go into settings, integrations. You add new connection. You scroll all the way down. As to as pause back. And now, uh, what you need to do is uh, give it a name. Important is that Digistore has custom names for all the uh, transaction events. That might be different from all your uh, conversion events in RedTrack. So we'll use just one for purchase because uh, unless you have purchase name as uh, payment in the RedTrack and refund as refund exactly as they are used by Digistore, uh, it will not work. So that's why we will do it uh, one postback, one event, and we'll call it RedTrack postback purchase. I played around before doing the video. So um, now payment here. We add uh, the postback URL. We know that click ID is click ID, and we start building uh, the rest of the postback. So next one we need to have and sum equals. And uh, to be honest, um, I have no idea what is the right revenue amount that you as a vendor want to capture. But we have too many of those, so we'll just use this one. And uh, next one, uh, if you do multi-currency, you can also, we'll also use this with RedTrack by sending the currency into RedTrack. So, but uh, our support will help with that. We will uh, proceed into the next step and status. For us, it's end type. Now we'll hard code because we uh, don't want to support all the digital names that are unique. We want to make them generic by basically duplicate this post back multiple times for all the conversion types you want to catch. So type equals purchase. And we'll do it only for payments. Uh, next one. Why we're here is that if you scroll all the way down, you will have that key information that you want for better attribution with all the conversion API based solutions, primarily Facebook. You can capture buyer's email, first name, last name, and they all will come into RedTrack in the hashed format. So they'll not be human readable, but that would be sufficient to send them further to Facebook, for example. And we do want to capture order ID to ensure uh, we're not using the duplication. Maybe transaction use also will be fine, but uh, 
I uh, think that by default, if you use any pixel within Digistore, they will send order ID. So let's add those order ID, email, first name, last name, as a parameters in Rhetoric and in Digistore. We'll go back to Rhetoric and we'll build all those additional parameters. Event ID, email, then we have, let's do the first name, then uh, last name, and uh, we are adding those in here from Digistore, just that next time you don't have to retype them and just copy and paste the URL from RedTrack into Digistore for the next postback. So order ID. Now the important part, you may uh, give it a name to send reports. This one is essential, assign a role so we know that this value is in order ID. We do the same for email. We do the same for first name and last name. And email and first name and last name. Again, these roles are really important because they help us understand that this value will be email so we can send further to the Facebook. First name, last name. If you want, you can also capture additional information about the products being sold. Um, where we have it. Pam, 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 upsell. Well, we can send these uh, data somehow to process. Or the type initial cell, upsell, that you probably end up receiving multiple purchase notes. You'll we'll specify uh, conversion types in specifically for Digistore. So, product name. Okay, let's do the product name so you can see it in the reports. We'll do product and because we can also send it into the Facebook so content name that's uh, the will from Facebook Facebook can receive all the additional details about your products now we have saved it and we have uh, the postback for Digistore that will capture all the additional parameters. Again, don't forget to figure out which value to use for sum. Let's add it here. I'm not sure that amount vendor is the most appropriate one. I think that's the best idea to start with it. And um, probably for your additional data you want to capture this field as I'm thinking out because they will send you the order type will be initial sell and upsell so when you have multiple purchase you'll be able to differentiate uh, of that data in the reports at least so let's do that order that's specific for Digistore And of course, you can uh, add the initial, uh, etc. upsells in the same fashion. So you can add here upsells. But now we're doing some advanced stuff. So and we'll do upsell numbers. So that when you have all those uh, orders and purchase and upsells captures at purchase, you will at least see in the reports that they're different. Or you can actually uh, set up custom conversion events in RedTrack with the names initial sale, upsell, like in here. And uh, then you'll be able to use them in the reports, like instead of purchase, which is not ideal, but may work out. And if you need those billing types, single subscription installment, then again, you can add another uh, value 
or use of that as a conversion event. But again, it's more important that you have billing type, they have audit type, they have upsell. For right track, it's only type equals purchase. And that makes uh, setup a bit uh, uh, inconsistent to what we would want to deliver because uh, that's all will be hidden in the tracking parameters, not in the conversion names. So these are the tracking parameters, we can capture all this information, but this all will be nested under the purchase. And for different other conversion events, you can set up the same postbox. Now, as you can see, this one is very short. Now we save all those changes. We go back to DigiStore again. This is our complete post bag, except the actual uh, conversion event type. So we copy it. We leave a uh, purchase in here. Make sure it has the symbol. Done. Uh, now we'll capture uh, the purchase, upsells, and all the other events from Digistore24 as purchase and all the details about uh, those events. Uh, I have a mistake here, I'll cl clean it up later. Uh, so, mm, that's it. We done Digistore, you can save it and uh, start uh, tracking the purchases and upsells from Digistore into RedTrack. Thank you, this was RedTrack. We're talking about how to set up uh, Digistore for RedTrack.